Hi, welcome to Nagish Biology Online Classes. Those who have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to get the newly uploading videos. Let's discuss about the topic that is anaphase. Anaphase. It is a third stage of M phase or mitotic phase. The major events, whatever occurs in anaphase, the mainly splitting of chromosomes takes place in this stage. Like this, chromosomes will be in the metaphase. But uh, during anaphase time, whatever events occurs, that easily we can notice the splitting of chromosomes. All chromosomes are arranged at the center of the cell and formed an equatorial plate in metaphase. But during anaphase, splitting of chromosomes occurs. So here how chromosome splits like this splits. So after splitting, so at exact at the location of centromere, chromosome splits that leads to formation of two chromatids that we can call it as daughter chromosomes so after splitting once we'll see here the diagram so these spindle fibers only play important role for splitting of the chromosomes so here the mainly chromosomal spindle fibers because of contraction chromosomes all four chromosomes the splits and the forms eight chromosomes daughter chromosomes will form but uh, here metaphase one chromosome has two dna's but whereas in the anaphase after movement uh, or at the time of movement of chromosomes each chromosome consists of only one dna or one chromatid so here so the all chromosomes they are migrating towards pole that you can observe so because of splitting chromosomes, so eight daughter chromosomes are formed. But the major difference, metaphase, one chromosome has two DNAs. But whereas in anaphase, this is anaphase, the diagram. So in anaphase, one chromosome consists of only one DNA. But the most important point, number of chromosomes are double. So metaphase chromosomes number one two three four total four chromosomes but whereas in anaphase because of splitting all the chromosome splits and the starts migrating to opposite poles but here the chromosomes number once you observe one two three four five six seven eight number of chromosomes will be doubled in anaphase but amount of DNA remains constant in metaphase and anaphase. So here, anaphase stage. So if you'll observe the cell, all chromosomes appear different shapes. So depending upon position of centromere, chromosomes appear different shapes. The shapes of the chromosomes will be different. They may appear V or L or J or I. If the centromere, if it is located at center of the chromosome, so that chromosome appears V shape during anaphase. Once we discuss one chromosome, that is here, for example, here metacentric chromosome is there. This is metacentric chromosome so that metacentric chromosome the special important point so here it has center of the chromosome the centromere so exact middle part of the chromosome whenever it splits like this chromosome splits then here these chromatids they starts to migrating opposite poles this one just imagine it is metacentric chromosome. This metacentric chromosome 
after splitting it's it forms two daughter chromosomes one two but these chromosomes starts to migrating opposite poles but here because of presence of centromere at the middle portion of the chromosome this appears v shape once you look at the board like this v it also just to observe from this view it will observe it appears like this v shape during anaphase chromosomes appears like this different shapes either v or l or j or i so metacentric chromosome appears v shape submetacentric chromosome appears l acrocentric chromosome j telocentric chromosome appears i shape so all the chromosomes starts to migrate to opposite poles that is you can observe in anaphase but after anaphase cell enters into the telophase but here the chromosome if you observe carefully centromere facing towards pole but whereas these are arms arms are facing towards center of the cell so here the because spindle fibers are connected to centromere kinetochore of the centromere that kinetochore it acts like centromere of the newly formed new daughter chromosome spindle fibers are connected to centromere so that's why here after splitting so kinetochore it is part of the centromere only so centromere facing towards pole but whereas these are arms these are arms are facing towards equator or center of the cell that you can observe in anaphase anaphase cell enters into the telophase now we discuss about the fourth stage that is telophase telophase is fourth stage of m phase or mitotic phase most dramatic changes what we can observe in telophase whatever events occurs in prophase all events occurs in telophase but reverse but here the prophase condensation of chromosomes occurred but whereas in telophase decondensation of chromosomes occurs all the events whatever occurs in telophase all events reverse to prophase now we'll see the diagram what are the major changes occurs in telophase at the end of the anaphase all chromosomes migrated to opposite pole but each chromosome consists of only one dna now like this uh, four four chromosomes migrated to opposite poles but at each pole there are four chromosomes are there here the four chromosomes are there four chromosomes are there but in telophase now directly i'll discuss the main important points of telophase at the end of the anaphase all the chromosomes whatever chromosomes were there in the cell all they are migrated to opposite poles but in telophase chromosomes decondenses decondenses decondensation takes place at the end of telophase all the chromosomes they are decondensed decondensed chromosomes will be like this each chromosome has one dna but here whatever we are able to see two lines the dna has two strands but one dna but decondensed like this now these are decondensed chromosomes but each pole has four chromosomes as well as the first prophase nuclear envelope disappeared in prophase but whereas in telophase nuclear envelope reappears around all chromosomes nuclear envelope 
reappears next nucleolus also reappears darkly stained structure that is a also reappeared prophase nucleolus whatever found in within the nucleus inside the nucleus that was disappeared but at present it is reappeared cell organelles whatever disappeared in prophase all cell organelles reappears so what are the cell organelles endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes so whatever cell organelles that is membrane bound cell organelles that may be mitochondria or plastids all these cell organelles reappears during telophase all cell organelles but uh, cells are not divided because cytoplasmic division that occurs after telophase before cytokinesis at the end of the telophase if you will observe whatever these i have drawn on the board all these are cell organelles reappeared cell organelles at the end of the telophase if you will observe one single cell one cell large cell has two nuclei so this is one nucleus this is another nucleus but at the end of the telophase only if you we'll observe one large cell it consists of two nuclei after telophase cell enters into the cytokinesis